At WWDC 2018, Apple announced the next macOS operating system, dubbed macOS Mojave. It's got a bunch of new features and changes, including stacks, a brand new way to organize the files on your desktop. This is what the average user's desktop might look like, cluttered and all over the place. Let's enable stacks by clicking the View tab in the menu bar and clicking Use Stacks. Instantly, all of your files are organized into separate stacks, and by default, they're organized by kind, like PDF documents, music, movies, and screenshots. Everything else, including disk image and zip files, will go into a stack named Other. Folders, on the other hand, will be kept separate and will automatically be sorted below the stacks. When we add or make a new folder, it'll be added below our stacks. If you add a file onto the desktop, it'll automatically be tossed into the corresponding stack, unless it's the only one of its kind. For example, we added one JPEG image onto the desktop, and it went below the stacks. If we add another one, a new images stack gets created and both images go inside of it. This works the same way for pretty much all file types, except for folders. When you click on a stack, all the files inside of it will be expanded and directly accessible from the desktop, unlike a folder, which you'd have to double-click to open. Also, all of the stacks and folders that are below the stack you open will move to a completely separate column, so they won't get mixed up with your files. You can even open all of them at the same time, which I wouldn't recommend if you have a lot of files. Once you find the file you're looking for, you can easily drag and drop it anywhere you'd like, like into an email message, for example. If you right-click on the desktop, you can change how the stacks are grouped. They're currently grouped by kind. Let's try out grouping them by date created. As you can see, the stack at the top contains files that were created today, and the last stack contains a file that was made last year. Grouping by date last opened will probably be more useful, so you can easily access all the files you've recently been working on. If you're someone who loves tagging files, that option will be really nice for you, but I don't think I've ever used tags. Personally, I think grouping by kind is the best option, because you can sort the inside of the stacks by different options as well. So if we sort by date last opened, the most recently opened file will show up at the top of the list. As you can see, if we open an older file, it'll get moved up to the front. If you're grouping your stacks by anything other than kind, then sorting the files by kind can really help it be even more organized. You can also right-click on a stack and have access to a whole list of options. You can make a new folder out of all the files within the stack, you can share them, copy them, and perform some quick actions, which is new to macOS. If you want to stop using stacks, just choose None within the Group Stacks options. Thanks for watching. We'll do some more in-depth videos on some of the new features in macOS Mojave, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.